Grand Cleric Victoire has offered the Ambassador support for the Inquisition. <laughs> ah, Natalie is as persuasive as ever. <laughs> Liliana, I just got back. What's up? I'm told that Ambassador Montillier is pleased with the restraint you showed in Valence. Ugh, she's positively beside herself. I will never hear the end of it. Niceness before knives, Liliana. Haven't I always told you? Will that be all, my lady? For now. <laughs> Niceness before knives? Does does Josie really say that to you? I am so sorry. I generally think it's niceness and knives at the same time. It makes the biggest impact in my opinion. But I mean, I am a mage. So for me, it's more niceness and fireballs at the same time. It really does just, you know, kind of keep things going in the right direction. I do like making new friends, though. I love making new friends. Don't you? It was a gamble, Inquisitor, but it paid off. Good. If you hadn't been with me at Valence, I would have killed Natalie. I'd have told you that I didn't have a choice. But there is always a choice. I am more than this. I am more than what Justinia made me. You are, Liliana. You are definitely more than that. Are you angry with Justinia? I am kind of curious after all this. Do you resent Justinia for what she did? How can I when there is so much between us? When she gave her life for peace? No. I believe her intentions were pure. Most intentions are. Not fair. You've exceeded her. She could never have imagined the power you now hold. And now I will know how to use that power wisely. I have to stay true to who I really am before a spymaster, left hand or bard. Agreed. I almost lost myself. Liliana, I'm glad we were able to resolve that. I am... Oh, Liliana, the amulet for Cole came in, so I am going to uh, to go give it to him. That was good, though. That was good timing. I got home from Valence, and somebody ran up to me. Inquisitor, we have the amulet. And then, like, shoved it in my hand and then ran off to go do what I'm assuming is a million other things. Hi, Dorian. Bye, Dorian. So I'm going to go run and give that to Cole. And then after that, hopefully it just works. And Cole feels better and more secure and like he's not going to be bound in the future. And then I can go take Varric to... Where am I taking Varric? I don't... Somewhere in the hinterlands. Him and his uh, friend who, oddly enough, has the same name as his crossbow. Which I don't actually think is a coincidence. But, I mean, stranger things you have happened. I mean, there was a gigantic hole in the sky I for a did. while. I don't see so why there's, concerns you. there's that. Cole, I have the amulet for you. It just came in. <laughs> it started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. I don't, I don't think you are, Cole. I have the amulet. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. Okay. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. Lead the way. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Solus, you realize that you just said simple enough, right? Like... Simple enough. It's never simple enough. And the fact that you just said it means that it's really not going to be simple enough. Thank you for jinxing it. We know it's not just going to work, right? It never just works. Have faith, Inquisitor. Uh-huh. Ah! Was that it working? What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? I'm not doing anything. Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? I mean, maybe Varric has a good point. Cole isn't exactly a spirit that we know of, and he's definitely not a demon. I mean, for all that we know of demons, Cole doesn't classify as one. 
at all. I mean, maybe if whatever he is a spirit of has like been kind of perverted from its purpose, that's technically, I guess, a demon in some ways, but Cole isn't like demony demon and he's not really a spirit. He's not a demon and he's not a spirit. What is he then? He's, he's something entirely new and unique. Maybe Varric's right. Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Yes, you do. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could not together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. Something? There. Okay. That way. Um, well then, off we go then, right? We're going hunting that way. It appears we have something to find. I told you it never just works. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? Of course. All of you? Absolutely. Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. I mean, varric has got a great point, Solus. Maybe we should just let Cole be whatever it is that he wants to be and not try to put him back into the spirit box kind of thing. If he wants to be a person, let him. It's his life. He can do whatever he wants. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. I know. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story. Child of the stone? We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? I think so. Cole? You. Him. Uh oh. You killed me. Cole? What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire and you forgot and I died in the dark. The, the spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me. He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Uh, Cole? I don't understand. I mean, I think I kind of do, but I don't. Somebody explain, help me. If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank, oh. a captured apostate. Oh, Cole. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I, I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Had to have been. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Well, options? Did anybody foresee this happening? Because I know I sure as heck didn't. I have an idea of what happened, but does anybody have any additional clarification they want to add on to the situation? Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. 
It seems the real Cole was an apostate, captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit, likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when its efforts to help proved to be in vain. And so when the real Cole died, our Cole embodied him? Huh. Interesting. I didn't even know that that was a, a thing. That they could do that, especially one... I mean, if compassion is an uncommon spirit, it would stand to reason that maybe we don't know everything about spirits of compassion, especially if you mention that they're fragile. I mean, maybe he snapped. Maybe he's not really a spirit anymore. Maybe he's definitely more human than I anticipated. Solus, options, what do you think? Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. We weren't suggesting that. I don't that. think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. I mean, though, you... <sighs> how much of him is really a spirit? Does he want to still be a spirit? Does he want to patch that up? I don't know. He doesn't act like it, Solus. He doesn't act like he wants to go back and be a spirit, like the kind of spirits that we all know of. There's been no indication that Cole's ready to, to go back or anything. Maybe he likes being human. Maybe he wants to grow, learn, and, you know, evolve a bit. What do you think, Varric? Varric. The kid's angry. I know. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He already did that. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. <sighs> Why am I the one making this decision again? All right, because Cole can't make this decision. Not that I blame him. And the two of you are on complete opposite ends. And there's nobody else back at Skyhold that I really remotely trust to help us with this decision because it's either going to be Vivian's he's a demon and she's going to tell me to put him down which that's not happening or Sarah's gonna wig out at the idea of what Cole actually is Bull is just gonna walk away because Bull doesn't deal with this kind of stuff I just Josephine is is going to be just really nice about it Liliana's gonna try to turn this into an advantage and I don't like the rest of them just aren't gonna have an opinion so it's down to the three of us and what we think okay I vote that Cole needs to grow. I think that he wants to be human for as far as I know. I haven't seen any indication from him that he's ready to go back to the Fade and, and to be a spirit and or that he even wants to patch that side of himself up. The fact that he didn't want to be bound, the fact that he was able to, to kind of make that cognitive decision shows that he has more wants than, you know, I guess I would perceive a spirit to be having. So. I guess if I get a vote in this, which clearly I do, because here we are, I say that Cole needs to grow. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. You got it, Varric. Good luck. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Then pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it. No! How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. 
No. He needs to remember. You two. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? I have no idea, Cole. I ask myself that same question all the time. If you ever find the answer to that question, do let me know. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but... Everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. Good luck, you two. Have fun. It is good that he is not entirely changed. Agreed. However human he becomes. All right, Varric, where are we going up and around by here? I guess you guys had said. Do we know exactly anything about this uh, lyrium smuggling operation or oh elf root <gasps> i love being back in the hinterlands there's so much elf root oh i missed it i have missed the hinterlands though who are you R red templars what what are red templars doing here this was not supposed to happen uh guys get rid of them they're just ruining everything it was my day off i was supposed to be here Picking, oh, do, why, did we, down. why did we have to kill the ram? What did the ram ever do to the rest of you? Oh, that poor ram. Listen, I have not been able to run around the hinterlands and just get herbs for the, uh, for the doctors and everything in a very long time. I am going to enjoy this and consider it a vacation for the 30 seconds that I have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that blood lotus? <gasps> Look at that, more blood lotus too. I bet there's just elf root everywhere. Oh, I miss it. I do. I miss being out and about. I feel like we haven't really been able to do that in a while, you know? Ooh, I got stuck. Oh, more blood lotus. Excellent. Look at it all. It's just so nice, right? Oh, hello, little fox and everything. And oh, don't we all feel just renewed like brand new people? And canary and dwarf, that is. No? All right. Well, I guess I'm the only one. That's all right. I'll enjoy this elf root picking enough for all of us. Is there any more elf root over here before? Because isn't this where we're going, Varric, up there? Is there any elf root? Nope. Okay. In we go. Let's uh, let's go have some fun in the deep road, said no one ever. Okay. Hi. Can we be Get friends? Activate. Nope. They were going to attack. They're done. Go all right. No, it's Go. him. Go away! He tried to be invisible. All right. Mercenaries. Looks like Carta. Lyrium smuggling would be profitable around here. Yes, it would be. But the question is, what kind of lyrium are they smuggling? Finally. I started to think you weren't coming. Don't sneak Nobody up like that. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start talking to us. Okay. Uh-huh. And you know what Red Lyrium does? How... how is that, out of curiosity? You seem to know more about the effects of Red Lyrium than most. Varric needed a save for his shard. I'm the one who built it for him. Okay. That's good to know. Varric, you could have maybe clued me in on that just a little. How did you find this place, though? It is literally in the middle of nowhere hinterlands. How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of deep roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the deep roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. I can only imagine. All right, let's get started. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. We ready? Everybody? Yes? Okay, good. Let's go have fun in the deep roads. Said no one Must ever. Must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? 
Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, listen. I know that this isn't necessarily the deep roads, but we're going to call it the deep roads because, you know, it's a road underground-ish. Considering, oh, I mean, it's really not, though, is it? Oh, it's disappointing. I was kind of hoping for slightly more deep roads than we got. All right. Am I just going to anticipate that all of these dwarves are unfriendly? Are you unfriendly? Yup. All right. So I guess it's just a... What was that? No, 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 no. Seriously, though, what was that? That was awful. That was the worst noise ever, and I am done here. I am ready to go home. All right. I hate this place. I do. I very much do already. I lied about deep roads. All right, is everybody dead? I lied about wanting a vacation. Oh, he's not dead. Whew. I lied about wanting a vacation here, guys. I, I, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to go home. If we could. If we could just pack it up. Head back. Hi, no! What are you doing? Get back where you were. Ugh, unnecessary. Anybody in here? Throne? Is this maybe some kind of old throne room? I guess they like cheese in here, though. Do dwarfs really like cheese that much that they just have stacks of wheels of it? I mean, cheese is delightful, not that I blame so them. this it... is what you do now? Beg pardon? Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day-to-day? -day? I usually try to avoid the caves. Yeah, Varric's not a fan of caves, Bianca. I don't know what you Here, think you let know. let me try. Varric, it's been a while, I know, but I already, I already know what I'm doing. Thank you, though. What's in here? Anything? Nobody? Hello? Looks like a desk. What is that, a note? Uh, defaced card of notice. Much of Valmar remains close to us. Anyone interested in changing that should meet here tomorrow at no one hour past noon. Huh. I guess they were trying to bring operations back. Probably, what, all for the Red Lyrium, I'd say? Alright, shall we continue back down? Is this... I assume this takes us down the stairs. 